Okay. Well, he just here to talk about the Dollar Tree. Now, I keep going in there because I'm thinking, you know, a lot of people have been saying some people... Well, I, they've actually stated on websites that, um, oh, they're not selling movies at certain Dollar Trees anymore. And that's true. There's been at least a couple, one or two Dollar... I, I, maybe it was only one near me that doesn't sell movies anymore. But the ones that still sell the movies don't get any new ones in. It's the same movies every time you walk into the store. First of all, I got a lot of dislikes in previous videos about the... um. The Dollar Tree. A lot of people c claim to um, that they. I think I really think people believe that they think there's good stuff there. Somewhat, there never is. Even the tapes I bought, like for instance, I showed you this. This is probably a good movie at its time, Assassination Tango, right? With um, Robert Duvall and all that. But if you can, t if you can see, this is the shitty, like, condensed version of it. It's got Dolby Digital, but it doesn't give you the full 5.1. In fact, it probably it's a 2.0 track. It's the most condensed thing you can buy. Well, what do you want for a dollar? I know people get mad at me when I say this, but the Dollar Tree is not offering you any good stuff. They're, they're offering you garbage, and that's probably why they're not selling movies anymore. They're not selling them simply because, you know, there's, they, there's, they can't give you movies that cheap. At least not new ones. Um, pretty much now the physical media is down the tubes. And it's only pretty much for people that want to collect, collect, collect. Because it's that way. Now with... Um, there's not going to be anything new to send to these stores. Because people aren't going to make the discs anymore. They're not going to carry them anymore. They're just probably just going to throw them away. They're not going to even send them to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is pretty much out of the picture now. They don't cl they don't get any new movies in. It's been at least four or five months. I haven't seen a single new movie in one of their stores. So I think it's the end. They're not going to be getting any new ones in. I don't even know why they some of the stores continue to leave them in their aisle. They Sometimes you see the music CDs too, which are all crap. I don't know how anyone can want to buy the music CD. I bought a few music CD, um relaxation discs from them. And I got lucky. There was um a few months ago, maybe a half a year ago, I was able to find a couple of old audio books at Dollar Tree. And they um couldn't even find the number or the barcode wouldn't read on their computer, so they just gave them to me. <laughs> they weren't supposed to do that. Well... Um, the, yeah, Dollar Tree would frown, any company would frown upon you just giving something to somebody. They would rather you just keep it, but whatever. One of the workers gave them, um, the two audiobooks to me because they couldn't find a way to ring it up on the computer and it wasn't in the computer at all. So, um, you know, the, all this stuff is obsolete. There's not going to be any refills of anything. And I think the Dollar Tree needs to be recognized for what it is. Even before, you know... Just when I started to collect from them, there was a decent amount of films. They they all still sucked, but there was a selection. Now when you go to every one, it seems that they're all erased. Everything's gone. Like, I bought this. Let me find. No, it's not over here. That's the Blu-ray version. I thought I never bought Baywatch on Blu-ray. I did. I bought the DVD again for a buck. That was stupid of me. But, um... I find movies like Baywatch, and now all I find is all those third-party shitty movies that nobody wants to buy. And you see, like, three or four of them, the same movies at each location, if not more of them, just sitting there in that bin or whatever it is. Um, and it's funny, because uh, I just went to a Dollar Tree today, and they had all the movies in one spot, and now they moved it to a different spot in the aisle. It's like, why even bother rearranging the movies and putting them somewhere else if no one's buying them? I don't see anyone walk out of the store with them. I can't remember the last time I bought a Dollar Tree movie. And I, ha and I have so many movies on my channel. I, it would take me about a million years to go back and look exactly at what I was, um, exactly what, um, to, you know what I mean, exactly to what I, I should look at. But, you know, it, it it's really something. You know, the Dollar Tree is not a place um, I would shop at anymore. And and that's all there is to it. I mean, you know, Dollar Tree is not even the Dollar Tree anymore. A lot of things in the Dollar Tree are more than a dollar. So I'm 
they did up price the movies. I think they were always a dollar twenty five or a dollar fifty for the movies or whatever it was. Then they had a sale on them for like fifty cents or seventy five cents a piece, which I don't understand why they don't just keep the DVDs at that price because nobody's buying them to begin with. Um, there was a couple of decent movies I found on DVD, and I got a couple of diff several different digital copies from some Blu-rays I bought from them. But even their Blu-rays have disappeared. There was a Danny Collins Blu-ray. Now, that's an old movie. and It got a decent rating. But, um... Even... I can't even find the Blu-ray. I can't find... I usually find the DVD sometimes for that at Dollar Trees. But I can't find the Blu-ray for it anymore. It's funny. There are some Blu-rays. But most of them is Echo Bridge. The majority of everything Dollar Tree gets is Echo Bridge movies. Which suck. It's like a third-party movie service. I've watched it... I don't know how many times, I don't think I really, I've watched a lot of Mill Creek stuff, not Echo Bridge. Echo Bridge is really shitty though, and it's just like Mill Creek, where everything's done half-assed. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to watch that kind of stuff. There's nothing good that comes from it. You have to look for regular studios, and Dollar Tree was never meant for that. I mean, if you're going to sell a movie for a dollar, it's not going to be something that's good. Or it's going to be a good movie, but it's going to be left over from something that's like 10 years ago or more. Now, what year did Baywatch come out? Oh, luckily, we have this as reference. But it's stuck in here because I haven't took it out in so long. Jeez. Wow. <sighs> Take out all the movies to get to it. Baywatch came out in 2017. So I was able to buy it this year. That's three... That's about six years after it came out. I was able to buy the DVD in the Dollar Tree. Who knows what it actually came out in. But um, that's just an approximate. And um, I'm here to tell you that I'm pretty much telling you that you're not going to get any movies unless they're really old. And I'll just say, I'll, I'll repeat myself again. Because of that, you know, because of what I just told you, that means that, you know, future movies that are coming out now will never make their way to the Dollar Tree at all. So everything you get in his backlog from several years ago and that's why you don't see anything anything new with the Dollar Tree, because there's nothing to send there anymore. All the oldest movies they, that these places have aren't even on physical discs anymore. Uh, they don't bother to take the time to send it to the Dollar Tree. It's just, you know, I may not be making any sense, but the main point I'm trying to say is it's not worth it anymore. What a waste. I can't believe they w actually waste their time doing this crap. It really amazes me. I think they would find some time to... um sell other things it's funny how they never have any video games at the dollar tree it never made any sense to me they couldn't sell sell old playstation games or something for a buck even if they were those shitty ones like the pinball games and stuff like that they did have a playstation um three um game that was um a dancing game or something with songs in it but there was only one of them there and that was it um and don't mistake yourself for the um, Family Dollar with the Dollar Tree. Family Dollar has some actual real movies. They're all older ones too. But they're actual movies you want to watch. Like they'll have The Matrix in a set. They'll have The Lord of the Rings. Or they'll have all these old Police Academy I saw there. But that's Family Dollar. And they're selling them 5 10 Sometimes some of them are 20 bucks a piece. Well, it depends which one you get. I got a season of, um, what's it called? Of Night Court from one of the dollar, family dollars. But that's an entirely different story from the Dollar Tree. Even though they're all owned by, I believe, the same company. So, I'm just going to say it right again. Stay away from the dollar store. It's a waste of time. And I, I, I feel sorry for myself that I even wasted any of my money on some of these um, titles. That are MGMs and stuff. Because they're not official. So what I did was, is I took everything in this bag over here I have, and anything that has an official Universal or something on the back, like, um, for instance, here's one, here's one, see? I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I believe I did. Um, it says Paramount on the back, and that's why I bought it, because it came directly from that company, but if it came from something like Echo Bridge, forget it, I just put it away. It's really sad that, you know, some people are stuck watching these movies. And I really feel bad because it's the bottom of the barrel content. And some people actually think it's good. It, to me, it's not even worth watching it for a second. But some people don't have a choice. I can understand that. But for the people who do have a choice, don't waste your time with it.
Bye-bye.